Hi everyone, NWA Prepper here. So it is, I guess it's mid-December and I just picked something up that I'm excited about. The, uh, the Whole Seed Catalog. And they've had this at my local Dollar General stores I guess this is the third year I've noticed it, but I haven't ever picked it up. So I picked it up this year. And then I've already went through there and picked out um, some varieties of things that I want to do, that I want to grow. And of course, I... <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm not feeling very well. Uh, so I dog-eared the pages. Like this one here is Boston pickling cucumber that I picked. <clears throat> and uh, a package is $2.50. Just as an example, and it tells a little bit about it. And, and this they just have all kinds of things. Cauliflower, green beans, green beans. There are probably 20 different things, tomatoes. That I went through, I did some squash and zucchini that I went through and I selected for my starter stuff for next year. And even though there's snow on the ground behind you, you can't see it, but I can. Uh, that's something that I thought that I could get a jump on is getting my seed order in early. So that if the same thing happens like it did this year, where there wasn't easy access to my gardening and canning stuff because of demand, <coughs> then then I'm already getting a jump on it. And there's lots of different companies. This just happened to be a catalog that uh, that was like I said was at my local store, and so I wanted to to check it out. I had to buy it. And it was over ten bucks, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's got and it's got a lot of good information. It's got articles and things in it, um, you know, about different varieties and families of it, of plants. And so it's it's kind of a catalog and a magazine, but it doesn't have any ads. The ads are you purchase from you know from the catalog. The pricing didn't seem terribly crazy. Um, but I liked the idea of it. And so I thought it would be a good thing to get a jump on. I've also noticed a few places, uh, obviously not today, but in the last couple weeks, <coughs> that uh, there were some seeds out at the farm stores, at Tractor Supply and Atwoods and Orsolins. They each had a... Uh, a display of seeds already out. So keep your eye out. If you know what you're going to plant, if you know you like a certain variety of pole bean, then, then get them. Pick them up now when you can because just like canning lids and canning jars, they became more difficult to find closer to the time. And so there's absolutely no reason that you can't get them you can't pick them up now and things like this catalog or there's lots of resources online um, where you can get them but but seeds are important and if you've never gardened or if you've never grown any of your own food it's re <coughs> <coughs> it's really important it takes practice it's not something that you can watch a video and just go do you can watch a video and get started, but there's lessons to be learned. And the sooner you learn them, then the more opportunities you have to learn and avoid other mistakes. And the great thing is, is that you also, sounds of, sounds of the suburbs, uh, you also get the benefit of eating whatever you grow. So whether you're in an area like this where you've got, a whole neighborhood in front of you and you only have a little bit of land or if you have a 
small backyard or a porch or a window seal, find a way to try to grow some food. Uh, and think about it now, particularly the things that'll store a bit. Um, because they may be easier to get now than they will be later. Because right now, not everybody's looking for them. All right. You guys have a great day. Um, I've got some exciting videos that I've waited a long time to do coming up soon. And I may even do one of those today. All right. As always, you can do it. Let's get ready.